Okay, okay. Yeah, we're gonna try something a little different today. Uh, you complain about the intros all the time, so we'll do it a little differently. I've prepared some. Yeah, there you go. Prepared some notes for you. Have a look there. I'll explain everything, what you gotta do. Got it? The notes look good, Bob. I think maybe you've picked a good one here. Yeah, yeah, and all you gotta do is follow the, that, that stuff. Okay, well, Yeah. no spoilers. No, 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 spo just read the notes and follow the instructions. All right. Okay, yeah. you can do it. Double digit fun. Yeah, double, <laughs> what? That was very polite. Yeah, well, well, what do you expect? Very unusual. Very. Un we don't have to go through very everything. Very unusual for Bob to uh, you know, carry the stupids, you know, all that so stuff. Polite. I guess we're um, ready for a... We're turning a new leaf. For a good one here, guys. I guess Bob's picked a good one, so let's... Uh, of course I picked a good one. Let's see if he can carry the stupids. I mean, he didn't, you know how the game works, right? He has to get more kills than his whole team combined and win the match. They say, and win the match. And then he will carry the stupids. you got to emphasize. Come on. It usually happens when your team is full of Muppets. Always. And you have to carry them. So Bob says we're in for a surprise. Let's see if we're in for a surprise. Let's surprise. Uh, uh, <laughs> not surprise. Muppet. <laughs> Muppet. Muppet. Okay, let's uh, take a shot. Oh. And he's stunned. <laughs> <laughs> and he gets hit by the artillery because the patent <laughs> is fine. <laughs> see? Well. See? You're following the notes. I told you it's going to be a good one. Yeah. And he Whoa, that one was, uh, I didn't think he'd pen that one. Now he You know, I watch, I know what's going to happen, so enjoy. I think Bob's picked a good one, guys. We have to watch this. Can he do it? Let's see some uh, comments in the comment section right away. Will he be able to carry the stupids today? He's uh, started off pretty good. Two good shots. He looks like he knows what he's doing. He's going to take a... Whew. He knows what he's doing, guys. Leave your comment in the comments section. Your prediction. And while you're typing away and you're uh, manipulating your mouse and your keyboard, maybe, 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 um, hit the subscribe button. I've noticed that uh, one third of the viewers are typically viewing but not subscribed. Two thirds that are viewing are subscribed. I can put the stats there, and uh, which is you know it's, that's that's respectable. But uh, for the th one third of you who are watching who are not subscribed, maybe consider subscribing to. Help the channel, and I would appreciate it. And while you're at it, let me know whether you think this guy's gonna carry the stupids. Can he get more kills than his whole team combined and win the game? That those, he has to achieve those two things. And then that technically is the definition, in my perspective, of carrying the stupids. If you can do that, now then your team, there's no way they would have won without you as the patent misses his shot. <laughs> There's no way they would win without you. If you can do that, it means the only reason your team won is because of you. So you have ipso facto, ipso factually, ipso factually carried those who you may refer to as stupid on your team who would have lost without you. <laughs> and he's losing 1-4, which is... Take, he didn't take a shot because the, the rocket booster tank was going too fast. And here comes the patent. Oh, they're always too late to the party. Did the patent just get a kill? The patent got a kill. Okay, take it back. The patent just got a kill. I see the patent scurrying around. Hey. Let's see how he does here, guys. Let's see. He's, uh, he's admiring himself. Oh, look at me in the grass. Frolicking by the patent. Concentrate on the game, will you? The enemies are moving hard into the city there. Now, when, when they push, you see his team has retreated in the city, the 890 line. If the enemies push, they have to go through these gaps, which makes them targets. It's not, uh, it's not advisable to push aggressively through the city if there's people in the middle. And there's a patent and a 1 2 1 in the middle. So it's possible. It's possible. They've tied the game up tied the game up so okay they were losing by quite a bit and they tied the game up now, what's he going to do now who could have, oh, 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 boom. Uh, somehow that was just critical damage and here comes the pack oh and he took a big one from the type 68 oof 
And now he's he's in the crossfire. He came here to put the enemies in the crossfire. And now he's in the crossfire. Now they're driving the bus. So what to do? What to do? Uh, he's got to worry about that guy. He could get proxy spotted by that guy. He's got a, he's got pixel. Patton is proxy spotted and is getting hit. He hits the side of the STRV. Who foolishly poked his little his little pointy front out of cover. Now he's just outside um, proxy spotting range there, guys. So he's not detected. But look at the little green circle around him on the minimap. If he gets just a, an inch closer to that STRV, like the patent, it doesn't realize it, but he's proxy spotted by the STRV. So he's lit. And that's why the artillery is focusing on him. He pro his sixth sense probably went off a while ago. And he doesn't realize it, right? Some, when your sixth sense goes off, you think, oh, I'm spotted. And then like 10, 15 seconds later, you think, oh, I'm not lit anymore. But if you're in the proxy spotting circle, you're still lit. Your sixth sense won't go off again. It's already gone off. He's lit the whole time. And so he's there going, getting hit twice by artillery, which has about a 30, 35, 40 second reload. So he was lit for a minute and a half, probably not knowing. Why is the artillery shooting me still? So. And now he's going to take another cheeky shot. This is very nice. And here comes the Patton. Maybe this video should be called, Here Comes the Patton. There he is. <laughs> hey, Mikey. What are you doing? This guy's wondering, what is this Patton doing? Is it a bot program that's programmed to uh, to follow him? When he moves forward, the Patton moves forward. When he moves back, the Patton moves back. It's like those fish that swim in a school. Did you ever see those, what are they called? The uh, uh, South American needlefish or something? And he got, he's got another kill. Those uh, blue needlefish? There's lots of fish that do it, but uh, very spectacularly on display by, I, I believe it's the the blue needle fish. I may be wrong. Snap! The complimentary leopard that explodes every time you have a good game. These needle fish, there'd be like 500 of them in a school. Okay? They're in the water. And then they've been filmed. But, you know, scuba divers under underwater filming these fish, school of fish. And I kid you not, uh, they all move together, right? So they all turn left, they all go down. They move like the, uh, uh, like those planes, uh, you know, that are, what are those acrobatic uh, fighter jets that wing to wing and they're, they have to work for forever to try and figure out how to fly together it's a huge sometimes they make a mistake and they crash like the, the blue angels there used to be a Canadian one that was called that well these fish they just do it you know up and it's in three dimensions different angles down 30 degrees up at 45 quickly turn speed up the right and, and so you're probably thinking, well, okay, so they're just following each other, right? No, they've been filmed, and then they slow down uh, the film. They slow it down. Uh, they film at a very high resolution so they can go at ultra slow motion. And they're trying to see, does one of the fish turn, like the guy at the front, like the ducks, the one in the top of the V, does one of them turn left? And then the next one and the next and they just do it quickly like they notice the one guy does it and then they follow and they've watched it as slow as they can f slower than you can conceive with your brain like you know you're watching this at 60 frames per second your eyes can't detect more than 60 frames no, more than 30 40 frames per second you know if someone moves and you can't react in one two hundredth of a second, right? There's a little bit of wreck for humans. Even the the fastest, um, the guys that win the hundred meter uh, sprint in the Olympics, when the gun sounds, 
uh, 0.4 seconds to reacting is fast, right? Like about 0.4 seconds goes by before they even start. If they if they anticipate the gun or go you know, anticipate it, they get disqualified for false start. They cannot move until the gun goes off. So they have to hear the gun and then decide, okay, I have to move now. And that's typically like for you and me, regular schmoes, like could be a second or three quarters of a second before you react. For those Olympic trained, our top human athletes, it's still like almost half a second. That the, you know, the gun goes off, some, something, uh, they get the cue and then they move. These fish, they slow down the video to not like half a second, to the milliseconds, so that you're looking at one two, two thousandth of a second. And they see them swimming and they all turn. They don't, uh, there is no delay. There's not one of them that uh, uh, turns first and then, you know, oh, it looks like Fred's going left now. Let's go left, guys. And they, you know, every now and then one of them goes right by mistake and bumps into them. Watch where you're going, right? There's none of that. They're perfect in real time, completely. So it means that they're doing it using a method that we don't understand, right? We use our eyesight, our uh, hearing. When you're driving, you're looking. Uh, you, you hear traffic. You're, you've got instruments. Right? You see how fast you're going. We're both going to go. If you're the fighter jet pilots, we're both going to go 370 miles an hour. Your altimeter has to be. You know, they're looking to peripherals. They've got uh, uh, proximity detectors. Even with that, the fish do a better job because they're doing it um, with something that we don't completely understand. Incidentally, are you watching what's going on here? They're doing it in a way that we don't quite understand how that they're achieving this. Uh, using senses that we don't completely understand. They're not just using their eyesight. They're not just using their hearing. Uh, fish have lots of other um, senses that we do not, like uh, they can sense the electromagnetic field of the Earth, but that doesn't seem like it would be a... They don't have radar like bats. Uh, some fish through their skin can uh, measure uh, pressure changes, pressure waves in the water, and that's that postulating that, that could be it. That uh, you know, the, as as the school moves, it causes pressure variations and pressure waves within the school that the fish can de detect from their skin, and, and but we don't really understand it. We do not understand. We have no idea. They're, uh, they're more advanced than us in that, uh, in what they're doing. They're better than us at that. At, uh, they're better than synchronized swimmers. Okay? They are, they are better at that task than humans are. Of course, they're not better at uh, other things. Like we can catch them and fry them up for dinner. So it's not like, you know, they're not the apex predator, but they're smarter than us in that. Which is very, um, wouldn't you say that's like uh, shocking? Eh? Wouldn't that, doesn't that shock you? Yeah, I'm shocked. Oh, wait a minute, what happened here? What? Bob? What? What? I thought you said it was going to be a double digit. Yeah, read carefully. Oh. You didn't read the notes? Look. Clutch game, 7k, 13 kills. Quickie baby, he <laughs> and Quickie baby, please show my replay. I want you to show it. <laughs> I posted it, I lied. I said that I, it was double digit kills. <laughs> but I lied. I, okay. And look, it, it was me and my platoon mate. It took two of us to carry the stupid. The two of <laughs> them together got 13 kills. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> the loser. He, he didn't carry it. He lost. Therefore, he sucks. All he, right. He lies. Well, you don't have to call him a loser. A loser and a liar is what he is. He sucks. He's a loser yeah. and a liar. That's why he sucks. All right, guys. Well, I guess if he was... Uh, sucks, I tell you. 
if it was for platoons, this platoon carried the stupids. But individually, uh, you know, if you if you're part, if he was part of a school of fish, Bob, uh, I would say he carried. But he was just he's solo. What do you mean right? fish? He's not part of a. What the hell do fish have to do with anything? Continue with the fish analogy, right? If he was a, if he was in a school of fish, he achieved something. But he's what swimming around by himself and. What the hell are you let's, even talking about? Let's face it. He, he only got six kills, so... He he didn't lose. Y he lost. But he didn't win carry the stoop. Exactly. He sucks. Fish. What the hell are you talking... Why do people even listen to, to you? He lost, therefore you suck. Yes. If you lose, you suck. He, lo he lost, therefore he sucks. And it has nothing to do with fish. He stinks like fish is what you... That's what you should have said. He's, he stinks, just like a s school of rotting fish. And he, and he lost. Therefore, he sucks. Um, that's why you, you should have read your notes. You would have known this would happen. But you always want to do it live, live commentary, so we can watch your reaction. Well, uh, <laughs> yeah, re react to this. Everyone knows that I, I'm the... I'm the guy they come to listen to and watch, because you, fish, you suck.